Today my topic is distance of separation between successive HKL planes. For that we have to consider a three dimensional rectangular plane. The in this plane we have to consider two planes. This is first plane and this is second plane. We have to find the distance between these two planes by using uh, certain parameters and certain formulae have to find these things now I magnified this image here let us suppose this is the plane first plane A B C along x axis this is A the intersect point here this is origin O and uh, this can be taken as the intercept can be taken as A by H this is B by K and this is C by L these three are intercepts then assume an axis here this is an axis this is O2 this is called N1 the distance from O2 N1 is D1 that means the origin to first plane is D1 the distance then this particular axis O N1 makes an angle alpha with x axis this beta with y axis gamma with z axis now we have to find the distance between origin to n1 this is d1 we have to find so we know according to the diagram we knew that OA is equal to A by H OB is equal to B by K OC is equal to C by N because it is not a vector if it is vector means I have to write OA is equal to AI BJ plus CK that means the vector acts along the x axis, along the y axis, along the z axis. I, j, k unit vectors acts along the axis, but here this plane is perpendicular to the axis. So that's why I, I took this parameter hkl as in denominator. Here h indicates along x axis, along means perpendicular to the x axis, k means perpendicular to y axis. L means perpendicular to Z axis. Now we have to find D1. For that we have to consider a triangle O N1 A. Consider triangle O N1 A or O A N1. Here Listen carefully, this is 90 degrees here, this, so that means uh, this opposite, this is called o, N1A represents opposite side, but here in the opposite side, there is a plane, there is no axis, so which is useless for us. Then ON, ON, ON1 ON is called adjacent side and OA called hypotenuse so we have to consider adjacent by hypotenuse that is cos alpha is equal to adjacent means o n1 by o a then cos alpha is equal to o n1 by a by h similarly 
कास बेटा इज इक्वल टू वो एन वन बाय बी बाय के कास गामा वो एन वन बाय सी बाय एन एंड कास अल्फा इज इक्वल टू वो एन वन मेंस डी वन O n one means here O n one gives d one distance distance of the first plane d one by a by h cos beta d one by b by k cos gamma d one by c by n then cos alpha is equal to d1 h by a cos beta d1 k by b cos gamma d1 l by c okay now according to cosine's law cosine's law we know according to mathematics cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1 now substitute this cosine values in this equation first one is d1 h by a d1 h by a whole square plus d1 k by b whole square plus d1 l by c whole square is equal to 1 here we can take uh, d1 as common factor this is d1 to h square by a square Plus k square by b square plus l square by c square. This is is equal to one. Then d one is equal to one by h square by a square. This is d one square common factor plus k square by b square plus l square by c square. Then d1 is equal to 1 by root over h square by a square plus k square by b square plus l square by c square. This is distance d1. If that is q, that means the three-dimensional rectangular is a q. Then that means if a is equal to b is equal to c, if the taken structure is Q, then d1 is equal to 1 by h square by a square root over plus k square by a square plus l square by a square. It is equal to 1 by root over h square plus k square plus l square. Taken as LCM. This is a square. Then, then d1 is equal to a by root over h square plus k square plus l square. This is the distance between origin to the first plane. This equation represents the distance between. Actually, it was uh, explained by Miller. Miller. So that means uh, we have to index, have to give index to the different planes. Now we have to find another plane. That means let us assume this is the diagram. Assume one more plane here. One more plane. One more plane. 
this is at a distance of n2 this is called d2 d2 means the distance from origin to the second plane and this is taken as oa dash this is b dash this is c dash then the angles are this is alpha dash this is beta dash this is gamma dash now the angle sir now we have to find uh, the distance of this particular plane from the origin the distance is 2a by h this is this is 2b by k this is 2c by n the intercept sir now I have to repeat again this equation that is here from plane 2 or according to plane plane 2 <coughs> OA dash is equal to 2A by H OB dash is equal to 2B by K OC dash is equal to 2C dash by N Now Triangle We have to consider a triangle That is O O A dash here O N two A dash triangle O N two A dash. This is the triangle we have to consider here now. Then the same thing cos alpha dash is equal to O N two by O A dash cos similarly cos beta dash is equal to O N two by O B dash cos gamma dash is equal to O N two by cos O N two by O C dash now O N two means D two OA dash means 2A by H cos beta is equal beta dash is equal to D2 by 2B by K cos gamma dash is equal to D2 by 2C by L cos alpha dash now cos alpha dash is equal to D2 H by 2a cos beta dash is equal to d2 k by 2b cos gamma dash is equal to d2 l by 2c according to cosines la cos square alpha dash plus cos square beta dash plus cos square gamma dash is equal to 1 now substitute these values in this equation G2H by 2A whole square plus D2K plus 2B whole square plus D2L by 2C whole square is equal to 1. Then square it. Take the common factor of D2 square, D2 square. Then square it. H square by 4a square plus k square by 4b square plus l square by 4c square is equal to 1 then d2 square is equal to 1 by h square by 4a square plus k square by 4b square plus l square by 4c square 
then d2 is equal to 1 by root over h square by a square 4 a square plus k square by 4 b square plus l square by 4 c square if the same condition a is equal to b is equal to c a is equal to b is equal to c then d2 is equal to 2a by h square plus k square plus l square this is root over this is second equation d2 now the distance between successive planes means d is equal to d2 minus d1 that is equal to d2 means 2a by root of h square plus k square plus l square minus a by root over h square plus k square plus l square therefore small d is equal to a by h square plus k square plus l square this is root here t is equal to distance between planes a that is constant that means edge of the crystal hkl is equal to miller indices so this is the answer of successive planes first of all i took a three dimensional rectangular then i took three or uh, two faces two planes then i drawn this in the magnified mode this is the diagram then i took oa it is a by h because hkl are indices so i had to consider this hkl values are in reciprocal because these are dividing by dividing with intercepts that means which are perpendicular to the particular axis if hkl are hkl are parallel then we can write it as a h b k c l but these these are these terms are perpendicular to that particular axis now i consider the triangle o n1 a one axis this is uh, making alpha beta gamma angles then i proved the distance d1 from this origin then i took consider one more plane then i solved these things here finally the equation is uh, d is equal to d2 minus d1 this is the total expression which is very important for uh, BTEC and BSC students this is a uh, essay question an essay question the question may ask for maximum marks thank you